Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We're back with another episode of Lincoln Creek, Nebraska. And uh, we were out scouting out the fields. We've advanced time into early autumn. And our crops are looking like they're getting pretty close to ready to harvest here. So we've been getting our equipment out and uh, getting everything ready to go here. Now I've done just a little bit of research here and uh, in hindsight I probably should have reached out to a bunch of my friends from Nebraska. However, it seems like we, in the southern part of the state it seems like a lot of times they're going to start with corn and then switch to beans when they're ready. Now with the way Seasons is working out for me, everything got ready all at the same time. And so I've got the combines out here with the uh, corn headers on here. But we're going to actually start with this sunflower field that we've got back here, I think. Uh, I don't know how much yield we're going to get, but it felt like a great place to kick off harvest here. Get these fields up by the yard done, and then we'll probably take a look and see if we want to switch or continue on with corn. And so I'm really excited to kind of get out here and test the first uh, little bit of this field see if things are ready to go i've got all the equipment all hooked up here both of our trucks are ready to go and so we're gonna give it a shot and see how this goes with this uh first combine here and i think we're gonna start right on up here in the corner of the field this feels like the best place to start and we are gonna use some course play here so that we can knock this field out pretty quick so we're just going to generate a two tool course with one headland pass here and see how it goes. Now the way that the map boundary and that uh, course generation map is set up, it's a little bit awkward. So it looks like our starting point is going to be way over here. I am going to set this vehicle to be the leftmost vehicle and we're going to have it start at the first waypoint here. I'm going to go ahead and just turn this thing on though and we're going to take the first little bit here on our own to get up to that start point just so we don't have any weird uh, shenanigans with course play and I'm going to say drive course. So this guy should do his thing pretty good. We've got 76 bushels an acre here on these sunflowers so nothing too crazy. I am going to turn on vehicle convoy mode here though, just to keep uh, the two vehicles separated. And we'll jump right over here and grab the other combine and get him going on the same field right behind him. And similarly, I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit more of this headland off as we approach the waypoint. We'll copy the course from the other combine here. and make sure that we're set up on the right hand side with vehicle convoy and away we go so we're opening up the field here it seems to be working pretty good and it looks like we've got some custom uh, sunflower textures here on this map so these are looking pretty snazzy I like uh, I like how this looks a lot and we've got the taller stalks here left this looks very similar to a corn stalk texture as well that I've seen, but uh, yeah, this is working out really well. And we've got the turn mode set for the headlands here, so at least when we come to a square corner, it looks like the combine is going to take that corner off and then back up and uh, do something here. I'm not sure what he's trying to do here. It looks like we're going to maybe miss some more. Oh, no, he's uh, going to clean this whole corner out. Look at that. We're going to do a really nice job here in the corner, making sure that we don't miss any uh, corner bits, which is really cool. So I've got no complaints about uh, this course play driver. He is uh, going for extra credit here, making sure we're not leaving a whole bunch here in the corner. So we'll, uh, we'll give him extra props for that today. I'm uh, liking the uh, turn mode on the cornering there. And we're going to be not filling up too fast. In fact, we're only 32% full here already uh, coming down the length of the field. 
So we should be able to ideally make it all the way around the field here uh, before we need to unload or at least back over onto the side there where we've got all that grass access so that we can get right up in here with the uh, quad track in the grain cart to unload these combines. I think these combines hold around 400, maybe a little bit more than 400 bushels each. So we're going to have a good way to go here before we even fill up a truck. Uh, but while these guys are opening up the field here, we're going to go ahead and jump over and get a truck ready to go here. We're going to swing our truck around and put it actually right up on the headland over here near the uh, spot where we opened up the field. I think that's going to be a great place to load these trucks and then I'll be uh, pointed the right way to kind of swing right over here and dump into the auger that we've got set up. So we're going to park this first truck right over here and head on out here and grab the grain cart. Actually, before we grab the grain cart, I'm going to go ahead and get this auger set up. My uh, intent is to put our sunflowers in this first bin here where we've got everything already set up. I just need to try and zoom out here in such a way I can't see the end of this auger. And so I think it looks like it's over the bin, but maybe we're off by just a little bit. So I'm going to try and uh, straighten this out a smidge, see if we can get this thing over the top of the bin properly. That's looking about as good as I think we're going to get it here. So we're going to unfold this and I'm going to turn my HUD on and see if I can figure out what my options are here to Ooh, we have an auger camera, so we can actually uh, see what's going on up here. That's pretty spiffy. So we are lined up about as perfect as you could hope for. And if I push G, I get a second control group, and I'm able to adjust the arm separate from adjusting the top. And so for this, we're obviously not going to be driving over this hopper and it's kind of a pain to get it to slide under the truck. So we've got rear dumping trucks anyway. We're just going to back right up to these and be dumping. So I think at this point, our combines are probably opening up this field. We're going to grab the grain cart now and uh, zip out here and see if they're ready to be unloaded. So it looks like our combine is... Uh hit at least 80% here. Oh, he just got full. We're just too slow. And now he's going to try and cut in here. Oh, we were almost there. We had the infamous uh, farm sim uh, cover opening bug, and I had to remap my cover keys to get the uh, auger wagons cover to open up. So while that guy's cutting in, I'm actually going to jump over here and unload this rear one uh, just so that I don't have to sit and wait for a second combine in a row to unload here. Oh, it looks like he's going to try and go for it again. So I'm going to zip back up here and see if I can get alongside him before he tries to pull over again. Oh, the insanity of it all. Here, I need to uh, hop in this guy anyway and fix his downspout. So we're going to go ahead and stop driver for one second. We're going to get him moved back over and point his spout down. And uh, I've got to get him going again before the guy behind us catches up. 
So I'm going to do it right now. Otherwise, I suspect we'll run into some issues. He's uh, on the move, so I'm going to go ahead and try and catch up with him here. Get a little bit closer. I do have vehicle speed sync installed on this save. I knew I would be doing a fair amount of karting in this series. Oops, and of course we're having just a few issues getting going here. It's been a few since we've had to run a cart, especially on a big setup like this with a articulated tractor. So it looks like he's about empty here and uh, I'm gonna spin right back around and we're gonna grab the other combine here. I suspect the other combine is full. And unloading on these end rows is just a little bit too painful. So I'm going to wait until he makes the turn here. And we'll unload him on the way down the field. So we're unloading this guy. We've got some uh, really weird glare in the cab here. Trying to be in cab just a little bit. So this is, uh, quite honestly, not working out so well. But we've got some awesome monitors here in cab. Uh, tracking our progress. I forgot to put the fill level monitors in. I think this tractor actually has fill level monitors. At the time we were purchasing our equipment, I'm not sure I knew what uh, tractor was going to be pulling the grain cart. It looks like our combine is now emptied, so I'm going to go ahead and try and catch up with this guy here. I'm going to turn my HUD back on. We're about half full, so not too shabby for uh, opening up and doing the headlands here. Now I didn't put this on uh, any kind of special lands mode or anything and so we are uh, straight up just uh, gonna be harvesting back and forth so I'm only gonna be able to catch these combines going down the one way on this field. I don't think it's gonna be a problem. Uh, we're not bringing in a ton of yield here compared to other crops like corn and so I think these guys are gonna be good to go we'll let them do their thing here and I'm gonna go ahead and unload these sunflowers into the semi just to get a feel for uh, how big these semi trailers are since this will be our first time getting them out of the shed and putting them to use and we may even just go and dump them right away uh, just to make sure that we've got everything else kind of working here. I'd hate to get too far along and then run into some problems. The first field that you harvest is always uh, one of the slowest, I feel like. We always used to try to pick an easy field and maybe even tackle it a uh, little bit before we would normally for most fields, just so that we could get the kinks worked out for the year. And this will be the first crop that we're going to put into a bin. And so I am really curious to see uh, how well this works out. So we're all emptied out. Let's grab the semi here. And I'm going to pull right past it and then back up to the hopper here and try to dump our sunflowers into that hopper. Make sure we get enough distance here to actually get this thing backed up to it. Maybe not the straightest uh, backup job here, but it should work out for us. Get this uh, case started up here. 
Make sure the pipe is currently out. Looking good. Let's hop into the semi now and dump this out the back. Looks like we're going out of the uh, semi and into the auger here. We're going to do tip side grain door though. Looks like we're uh, having problems with it wanting to stop dumping at a point here. That's all right. We backed up just a smidge. I think that it was that as the uh, trailer moved, it went out of the dump trigger. But it looks like we've got all of those sunflowers up in the top there. And we're into the bin. 2% full with 31,000 liters. So... Well, that's awesome. Everything seems to be working out here. So let's go ahead and kill this tractor off. We'll wait to dump the next load until after we've uh, got a little bit more in here. No sense uh, dumping half loads here. We just wanted to make sure that everything was working while we waited for the combines to do their thing here. And so I'm going to just uh, put this semi more or less right back in the same spot here no sense driving it off into the grass we'll leave the truck on the driveway and we'll run this grain cart down here and see if we can catch a combine we're not going to make it to the one in the front i don't think so i'm going to grab this rear combine right now while we're here and uh we'll swing back around and catch that lead combine on his next pass We've got 150 bushels out of that one, so we're doing pretty good. We're going to make a decent amount of money off of these fields, I think, this year. And quite honestly, after all of the bailing that we did in the last episode, if you look at our financial status here, we're only $50,000 in debt right now. Um, so we paid down a good chunk of the loan that we had out from uh, the money we made off of the bales. And getting through harvest here, we're going to continue to pay down quite a bit on that loan and likely have enough money left over to purchase some additional fields. I haven't picked a field yet that I want to purchase, so I'll be curious to hear if anybody in the community has any recommendations. But just looking at um, what I would say, this is probably the biggest field at $2.2 million. I'm not sure we're going to have that kind of money. But some of these smaller fields around the map are well under a million dollars. And I think we'll have somewhere around a million dollars after we're done selling our crops here in the winter. And so that's kind of the price range that I'm looking at is uh, keeping my eye out for a farm that's going to be somewhere around a million dollars. And uh, unload this other combine because we missed him on the previous pass. And so he's got to be getting close to full here. He's done a round and a half already. And we want to keep these guys moving so we can knock this field out today. Not as full as I thought he'd be, but we've got a fair amount in there. So we're at 382 bushels, not too bad. We'll swing right around here. And uh, pick up the other combine on his way back down here. Should put us somewhere near 500 bushels, I'm thinking. We'll see how it goes. We're definitely onto the shorter rows at this point, though. So I think the combines are going to be able to do a couple of passes here on their own without getting full. So it looks like we weren't too far off here. 480 bushels uh, at the end row. So we're going to go ahead and just run this guy right up here. We'll dump this uh, into the semi while we wait for these guys to kind of catch up. Probably wouldn't bother in real life to run a uh, third of a cart here up to the semi. And... The lead combine, hopefully, will be a little bit closer to full this time around. 
when he gets back down to our end. So we will certainly see. I know for a fact this guy is not uh, full enough, but we're here and uh, nothing better to do. So we might as well grab what he's got while we're in position. I'm really looking forward to jumping these guys over into some bigger cornfields and really putting these combines to the test. I think we're going to pull in a lot of corn off of our fields. We did a good job of hitting the nitrogen on all of our fields, and we've got some pretty decent soil in most of our fields. So I'm kind of uh, feeling like we're going to be really pushing into the high yield corn here. I have to say, for all the trouble our other combine is having, this combine in the lead is really knocking it out of the park with his uh, turning and pathing around turns and such. So, I don't know what the difference is here between the two of them, but combine number one is definitely winning out here on the driving. So, we've got him all emptied out. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, park up here on the other headland for a few minutes and wait for them to take a few passes. Uh, we're just burning fuel trying to empty them on the go here at this point uh, since they've got so little uh, crop in there ready to be emptied. So I'll leave this guy here. We'll let them take a couple of rounds and then we'll jump back over here and get them emptied out. like our first combine is done here so I'm gonna go ahead and turn off his course play course and we're gonna take over manually here for just a moment and clean up a few of these weird little spots that they missed not too bad they did a pretty good job here the course play drivers but we've got just a couple of these little segments and it looks like they missed them because uh, the field isn't capable of being harvested there. So um, that's awesome. We're going to, uh, I guess, just let that go then. We'll bring this guy right up here. And then go grab... Oh, we got stuck on the header. We'll go grab our quad track here and get him unloaded. Our second combine should be just behind us here. Now, I don't think we're going to get to a point where we fill up this truck, even with uh, both of these combines unloading into our grain cart. I'm almost positive we're going to have enough room in our grain cart here for both of these combines. So I'm just going to hop back into this combine such that as soon as he's done unloading here, I'm going to run this guy right back up into the yard. Um, I think the next thing we'll be doing is getting him switched over for corn. 
and we'll take out this cornfield right next to the farm. I want to give the corn dryer a try out next. And as long as we've got the corn headers all set up here and on our tractors, uh, I think it makes the most sense to tackle this cornfield right next to us since it is ready. And we'll see if this corn dryer works out. I'm really hoping it does because it's a cool looking mod. And it'll give us a chance to try out both of these uh, augers that we've got there. We've got the full Westfield kit going on this uh, farm. And so I'm really excited to make sure that all of those items are working as well. So I'm just going to leave this here for now, though. We're going to tackle that cornfield after we're done with the sunflowers. So we'll take this guy right up here as well. Get him dumped into this grain cart real quick like. And similarly with this guy all emptied out, we'll get him run right back up over to the edge of the field here for the corn as well. And let's get the sunflowers dropped into the trailer here. We've got 588 bushels of sunflowers in the uh, grain cart here. A little bit more than I was expecting, so... We'll see how full this semi gets. I don't think it's going to be even half full uh, since we didn't put that much in here before. In fact, I'm not even sure if we've dumped anything in here since we pulled it back around. Oh, yep, we did dump into here once. So we'll let this uh, unload here real quick. And let's hop out here and run this over to the auger. We've got another oh, a little over a thousand bushels here. 40%, not even 40%, 39% of our trailer. So I don't expect that we're going to have that much in the bins. However, it's uh, nice to be able to hang on to it here for a while. I'll be really curious to see how this goes as we get closer to corn. Uh, I'll be f wondering if we can even fill one of these bins with corn with ha. Uh, how much of the map we're currently farming. The bin sizes are somewhat realistic, but we've got way more bins than we would need on such a small farm here. And so I'm thinking next season, now that we've got our feet under us here, we're gonna be taking on some debt and buying some more land. So I know I said I was thinking we'd have about a million dollars. We may take on a bit more debt and uh, see how much land we can actually pick up here at the end of this season so now i'm kind of thinking we'll take on as much money as the bank will let us and we'll ramp this series up we'll see if we can get things really going here we've got just under seventy thousand liters of sunflowers so a whole four percent we're not even filling up a ring on this uh bin here but we did knock out the first bits of harvest. We made sure that our auger and our bin setup are working successfully here. And so next episode, we're going to be tackling some corn. We're going to be testing out our grain dryer and kind of seeing where things go from there. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, drop a like. It helps the channel out immensely. That's all for today. Kedrick out. It looks like our friend on the other end of the map got stuck on a tree. So we're going to hop in here and save course play from itself. It's always something. Oh my goodness. Maybe we won't even bother. This guy is stuck in a tree again. I really don't understand why he's going so far off the field here to try and turn around. I've not had this problem in the past. I'm guessing it's because of these angled rows, but the other combine doesn't seem to be struggling in the same way, which is the part that is the most confusing to me. So we'll go ahead and get this guy back on his course and uh, moving and grooving here, but... Uh, I would really appreciate it if he could settle down just a smidge. Come on, course play, this is getting ridiculous.
You're gonna literally crash into a tree every time you turn around. Teach me to only do two headland passes. <laughs> 